Those to watch. You know what I'm saying? Nobody grinds with that for another episode. We here with my man who? Most the host, baby. What's up, baby? Hey, it's hey, good hey, seeing hey, you, brother. One, one more game for yeah, the you know, yeah, there it is. Yeah. You've been out here for so long, man. On and off at the porch show, what, like, 10 years? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, now sir. You, found, you found home at Chillin' Grill. Yeah. Well, there were so many gaps between it. Um, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it made you fall back from it. There's a, a couple things that made me fall back. Um, I want to say that there, at one point, there was, I didn't, there wasn't a, a continuous pipeline of poets coming behind us. So I wanted to teach the youth. Um, okay. And I wanted to teach them particularly poetry. So that's what I, that's what, yeah, that's why I felt back. Oh, that's a great answer right there. You can't lie, but you got to get back to the future. Children are the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But for the ones who don't know about the portion yeah, that we're talking yeah. about, tell them about the origin of it and what made you do it and what's the order of the people who want to come on board for the new people. Yeah, sure. So, um, so the poetry show has been around for quite a while. We tried to put Charleston in a Guinness Book of Records uh, twice in a six month span um, for the longest poetry or the most poetry. Um, the most poetry shows in a three month span, I believe it was. <clears throat> so we try to do that. Uh, we've been pushing poetry in a lot of crevices and a lot of places to rehab people like in group homes and uh, foster care. Um, and you know, now we're trying to re rehab our own community with poetry, keeping a poetry class open for them. Uh, also, we just started teaching poetry in the, in, uh, the Al Cannon Detention Center as well. So we're, we're within the prison walls and we're trying to, you know, we're trying to really, really uh, penetrate with poetry, making people rehab amongst themselves. You know? so, poetry's a stress reliever and also ultimately an outlet. I love the fact that you're you know, about the community and you're not just doing the poetry to get the money, you're actually trying to help the community. I love that about you. I love the fact that you don't say you try to help other people and stuff like that. Like a Courtney came through your, your, your stuff as well, right? Like Courtney kind of, in a sense, started with you. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, kind of like shaved, shaved up through the... I'll tell you this, um, Courtney and I have known each other for quite a while. Um, not only that, we've shared the stage many a times. Um, you know, so I've paid her on many occasions. Okay. And um, I've been, I've been, you know, featured at her spot a few times. So it's like, kind of like cohort, brother and sister type thing. Yeah, yeah, actually, like, yeah. Kalah, 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 I came to the word. I got you, darling. Yeah. Thank you. You know, as I give myself a shout out to children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been doing this quite a long time, um, Courtney and I, um, along with a few others. Khalid too, right? Khalid. Yo, Khalid, yeah. that's that dude, bro. Yeah, Khalid okay. is awesome. Yes. My show. Excuse me. But um, from the poetry show. And you say the, now you're doing the kickboxing. Like, what spa that? Is it was that another like? Let me. Get, I already got you mentally and verbally with the poetry. Now let me get you physically with the. You know, what I'm saying with the. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but so nah, we're not doing kickboxing. We only do really only do boxing. Okay, I thought it was kickboxing. No, nah, no, nah, we're not. You know, we ain't kicking nothing but the bobo around the low. Oh you know man, do that. Oh man. No, we just do boxing. Okay. Um, we're, we're pretty accomplished in boxing. Um, I'm a trainer. I got four belts. Um, I have a 15-year-old uh, Golden Glove champion. I have a 13-year-old Silver Glove champion. Good lord! And uh, we—I just won two nationals in Atlanta. Good lord! Um, last year, so I'm just a trainer. I'm just there to polish the fighter. Dang, how'd you get so good with your hands? Coming off of Barber Drive, believe it or not. Oh, okay. Shout out to all that. You know Jams and Terrace. DTL. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, just, just coming up through life and knowing that, um, you know, nothing's easy and you always have to, to fight for what you want or what is right. So, especially being our color nowadays, um, you know, we're, we're still amongst like the, the Walter Scotts and the, the Dylan yeah. Roofs. So, I mean, you know, it started with the George Zimmerman. So now, like, you know, we want to impact our community and, as well as the youth to let them know that, you know, we are precious and we did not just appear on a slave ship. We were kings and queens before. Oh. Um, so oh. <laughs> we just want to um, we just want to reiterate that uh, that black is beautiful and uh, being black, uh, you should be proud of it. And um, also, you should also have knowledge of your rights. Um, so you can't be taken advantage of. Uh, we want to push the envelope of being smarter. Um, smart is the new gangster. Um, it's just bottom line. 
Yeah, because uh, I know you do that. Mm -hmm. In the poetry shows, you tell the artists like you don't want that trap rap or degraded women rap. You try to keep it on like an intellectual le level, you know, when you have your, your artist, um, you know what I'm saying, yeah. person on the audition for yourself. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so that's that's what it's about. It's about substance, quality, quality over cupidity. <laughs> cupidity, I like that as a combination. Huh? <laughs> cupidity is the excessive desire for money. Oh, okay. So it's quality yeah. over cupidity. That boy's smart. Boy, sharp. Whatever. I'm just some dude. Sharp boy. Like cut you open. That's a crazy situation. You recently uh hooked up with uh, Kimberly Bowman as well. Like, like what was where is what's the whole situation? Y'all connection. Dog. That's my dog. She's a great marketer, great promoter. Um, we barter with our services, um, and you know we just gotta we want to keep each other afloat. Or we, I mean, in business, you just want to help each other. Um, nobody's an Oprah Winfrey here. Nobody's a Jay Z here. So until we get to that status, we should um, continue to help each other, pull each other up. Okay. So you say you're like she's like your marketer for um, representative, or what would be her title if she speak on your y'all just more like just. Help each other collaborate. Yeah, it's more of a help thing. I'm, I mean, if yeah. I was to give her a title, she would be like my PR person. Okay, public relations. Okay, yeah. make you take spot like penetration. That <laughs> boy. <laughs> That's up, man. I mean, you've been doing it for a long time, man. What do you feel like you need to accomplish next to like really, like you say, you're trying to put, you know, Guinness books in each other with the poetry. What do you feel like, you know, saying that you need to do next to really, you know, take everything to the next level? Like, where you feel like you're lacking at? Uh, I just want to make sure that there's more equality all across the board here in Charleston. There's a lot of old money here. Um, the wealth should be spread out a little bit more. I still one-sided. Uh, we shouldn't have people here not knowing how to conduct themselves. We shouldn't have we shouldn't have some of the issues that we have now. So I, I really feel like we should educate ourselves. I really feel like we should get to the almighty dollar by doing what's right within what you love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love poetry and boxing. So guess what? I'm going to start a fucking poetry show. Okay. Or a boxing club. Okay. Not to be so frank or so brutal with the language, but to be honest, um, this world is ours. Um, um, to be specific, this United States is ours because we built it. So anybody who kind of resides or pulls their head down should be ashamed um, of, of, of not being able to hold hold high and stand proud um, for what you're a part of. And you know this is the you know this is land of the you know land of the free and home of the brave and blah blah blah. This is the only place where you can probably do a dollar scratch off and be a millionaire too. So. Um, you know, we want to capitalize on the capitalism, and you know, I, I want my children and my grandchildren to be privy to the privilege also. Um, you know, so you know, when you say privy to the privilege, or when you, um, you know, when you have certain things in place, then you can kind of live. that generational wealth. I mean, that's what you want. You want longevity. You know, longevity and less stupidity. I mean, people talking about it today. Legends, little legends, not dinosaurs. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm saying that's, that's definitely a dope situation right there, man. Right. For the most part. <laughs> Taking time, like. <laughs> that's definitely a dope situation. But what I want to know about bars. Do you still use that? Bar, uh, bar, 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 what is it? Like? Yeah, bars entertainment. Yeah, that's still like your, your, um, your company. Your, what, is, what is that? Or what was that if it's not existing? Yeah, yeah, bars entertainment is yeah. still around, man. Um, I'll be dropping an album here. Probably by mid year. Oh my um, I'll be dropping an album here probably by mid year. It'll be uh, a poetry album. It'll be artsy. Um, it'll be something um, like no other, one of a kind, all across the world. So make sure you guys look out for that. Okay. All right. What, and what's the, what made you come up with that that title for for you know you come? Oh, Bard. Bard is a poet. Okay. So bard means poet, so it's okay. poet's entertainment. Okay, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Drop those gems and pick them up like you drop out of teeth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> drop a juice like a careless like teeth. You know what I'm saying? Like a push-up. Get up. That's razor. You know Shop. <laughs> Let's go way back than y'all know about that. But man, definitely, I appreciate your time, man. I, I ain't gonna hold you, you up, man. Sure. Definitely. It's been a long time coming with you. You know, everything we've been out here doing. All right. Yeah, man. I mean, you've been doing your thing for a while. You deserve every every, every bit of credibility. Um, you know, 
if there wasn't no you, there wouldn't be a lot of people out here doing <laughs> what they do. <clears throat> so keep it up, Colors. Uh, continue to bring people to me. Um, let's work. Let's continue to march and then let's continue to conquer the city on a musical level. Um, but, you know, let's also be intellectual with it as well and conquer on some, on some smart shit, too. Um, when I say intellectual, let's say intellectual property, let's say residual, let's say longevity, and let's say big business, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's our city. Let's get it. No doubt, man. I'm Colors, the network man. Ain't nobody grinds like us. And you can say you, who you is, and nobody grinds like you. Peace. Los the host right here. Coach Los. Uh, Los the host, the poet, all that. Nobody grinds like you. Nobody grinds like me or him. Um, nobody grinds like him. Nobody grinds like us. Uh, find me on the Facebook. Um, you can connect right through him. If you can't find me. And uh, let's get it. Let's work. Shit. Even if it's just service.